to why is it snowing? <laughs> I am in the Tetons. Um, generally, ah, you'd see mountains, but it's um, well, it's not happening. <laughs> Yeah, so I've got four and a half hours before it's dark, so coffee seems like the nice thing. Though I'm looking at the wind blowing, and I'm thinking, I could make it in my car. Yeah. Here, we're gonna do it in my car. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. making the right choice. <laughs> I am gonna get a hat on and everything soon. It's just, I took a shower, so I'm enjoying having clean hair for as long as I can. <laughs> Welcome to another special moment of me doing things I probably shouldn't. Okay, to be fair, I have cooked in my car before and nothing has happened. So, we're sticking with that. One of the really nice things about having these windows in the back is I can open them when I'm cooking and the car doesn't have to be on. And they provide much better ventilation than having it go down because a lot more snow is going to come in that way. Whereas with this, it lets the air in, but it's not letting the snow in. Oh, that's heavy! Woo! And I cook on this little open space I have here. Whenever I think about, uh, whenever I think about possibly complaining or listing the small inconveniences that happen throughout my day because I live in a car, I remember that I had the chance to live in a van <laughs> or an apartment, <laughs> fully converted Ford Transit van or a nice apartment in Washington. And you know what I said? I said, I would rather live alone in Elrond than any of that. So anything I would have to complain about is a choice I freely made and I have no regrets. <laughs> I'm fill I don't know if you guys can see this. I'm filling my coffee. I'm not always great with the camera angles. I'm like, I can see it. Why can't they see it? Because I'm not pointing my camera at it. I promise. So casually cool in the name of being honest. Time for the milk. Milk. Milk it even Oh, I should get the paper. Hi. Sorry. I need the paper towel. Just to be prepared. Oh, fuck. People don't need to carry. Oh shit. <laughs> this is what I'm gonna say about Honda Elements. Thank God y'all have plastic floors. All cleaned up. I mean, it literally took five seconds. And what's the saying? Don't cry over spilt milk? Thank God. The milk spilled and not the coffee. That would have stained. Milk is fine. The fact that I knocked it over and then while trying to clean it up, knocked it over again. Guys. I'm a functioning human being. 
<clears throat> was it worth it? Yeah, it was worth it. Alright, I'm gonna enjoy this and I have to figure out where I'm sleeping tonight because considering it is supposed to snow, options are kind of limited and I do want to sleep near a plowed road, so I gotta figure that out. National parks are so annoying. People are going to watch this channel long enough and be like, wow, she really hates national parks. Yeah, man, government ruins our public land. I got issues, but that's for another day. I feel like I've already ranted about that in a video, but. Okay. Let's make some moves, guys. Where's my, there it is. That sign right there. Oh my God, can you even see that? See that? No overnight parking. tell you the story of this specific place. I don't know if you care, but you're going to hear about it. This is called the Wedding Tree. I don't know when it was named that. It's a very iconic lookout. It's not in the park. It's in the National Forest. So it used to be one of the coolest free campsites in the National Forest. And again, let me just say, it was always clean. There was never any trash. It was very well respected. It was really a local spot. Really only locals knew about it or people who knew locals or people who like to drive down dirt roads. It was, it's not marked. There's no sign, like there's no information about it really. So it's just a, a pullout, maybe can fit six cars and then maybe a half mile trail to this incredible lookout. So what the National Forest decided to do is A, say you can no longer camp here hence the no overnight parking sign. You're not allowed to camp at that spot anymore. B, we can now um, like rent it out for events, for weddings. Maybe, maybe that's what it got the name. But yeah, you can now like reserve it. <laughs> and C, now they've handed it over. Technically it's not even National Forest anymore. It's going to the Friends of the Bridger Teton. I don't know. And now, oh, get this. This is good. I just read about this. If you had scheduled or reserved an event at the wedding tree, I think it's um, on or after January 23rd, like even if you reserved it now and it was for like January 24th, you now also have to pay a $200 fee to use the spot. But I'm, I'm sorry, I just, but it's really upsetting because this was legitimately one of the best free campsites. And as you can see, no overnight parking. So I'm going to head back down because this road gets real sus after this, but also, it's really coming down out there. Am I getting it snowing? I think I'm as close to the road, but technically still in the National Forest as I can be. It's gonna be an adventure. <laughs> and I don't have a shovel. <laughs> I don't have a shovel. I don't have chains. Like I said, I know I'm unprepared. I literally did not prepare for this weather. I planned it so that I wouldn't hit this weather. 
and this weather showed up anyways and I have to be home by a certain time in PA so I didn't I couldn't really adjust my plans very much so we're making do with what we have thank you for being here <laughs> I'm gonna get dressed so I actually look like I'm ready for the outdoors one second now we're ready the big one. I'm making chili. If you didn't figure that out yet. And rice. And bread and butter. Easy for this weather, but yummy. Sorry, I didn't talk much. It was cold. I was just trying to get it over with as quickly as possible. It's chili, it's bread, it's rice. I have cheese to put on top. Nothing fancy, but it's the exact kind of comfort food you want. Oh man, this chili is good. Mm. I'm a mess. It's early. It's like 9 o'clock. I'm going to bed. I'm tired. I'll see you guys in the morning.
so pretty though. Sky is blue. Bluebird day. It's cold though. I think it's temperature kept going down. I think today's high is only 15. So. Oh, I'm gonna go warm up the car and clear it off. I got I out of here. Thankfully, um, I didn't think this road was gonna be plowed, but the plow bag came through, so I shouldn't have any issues. Do it myself. I made coffee and I didn't spill it. Mm. That's hot. But I didn't spill it. Are you guys proud of me? I'm proud of me. Thank you. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching my little adventure in windy, cold, snowy weather. It was windy, cold, and snowy. <laughs> but thank y'all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.